Hey y'all, welcome back. Clinical dietitian Micah Pierce here. I've often told people I've made it my personal mission to get people back into the kitchen to cook some foods themselves rather than relying on microwave, fast food, and other processed foods. Dietitians often tell people what to do, but we rarely tell you how to do it. Today I wanted to do a quick video on a very basic kitchen skill using knives. There are so many different kinds of knives. We're gonna go over a couple basics. First, there's our chef's knife a santoku knife, it's good for chopping. Then we'll talk about the bread knife, it's exactly what it sounds like. And then a paring knife, it's for finer details. Before you use a knife, each time you should run it across a honing steel or honing rod. This particular model guides you with 15 and 20 degree platforms. Apply gentle pressure and run the whole length of the blade along the steel, alternating sides. To actually sharpen the blade, we'll use a whetstone. Mine has two sides, 1,000 and 6,000 grit. First, I'm gonna secure my whetstone. I'll put a damp towel underneath it to keep it from sliding around. Starting with a little water, I'm gonna demonstrate the push. Starting at the bottom of the blade, I'm going to push at a 15 to 20 degree angle. Keep applying water and then repeat on the other side. I started with 1,000, now I'll flip it to the 6,000 grit and repeat the same process on the other side. I like to finish with a draw. You pull the blade towards you in a sharpening motion. The finished blade should shave away some fingernail quite easily. Before you cut anything, lay a damp towel down to keep your cutting board from sliding anywhere. If you only get one knife, make it a chef's knife. It's very versatile. This one is 8 inches, wide at the bottom and comes to a pointed tip. Notice I'm using the length of the blade to slice in a forward motion. The chef's knife is useful for some difficult jobs, like taking an onion apart. Take off the root and the top end and peel away that golden skin. Once your onion is undressed, cut it in half. To dice up the onion, lay it on its flat end and make some cuts along the top. Then slide the knife in the edge, but don't come all the way back. And then when you come back through and slice, you'll get a nice medium dice. To dice the onion even finer, we'll put our hand on the top of the blade with a tip down and move the back up and down to chop the onion even further. Let's talk about the slicing method. Your knuckle's always up against the blade so your fingers aren't in danger. Then you'll put the tip down first and then slide through with a rocking motion. This is the basic method for almost anything you'll slice. Like with this heart of romaine lettuce, you'll use the whole length of the blade, put the tip down first to make lengthwise cuts, then come back through the side and cross cut it. Our second knife is also very versatile, but it specializes in chopping. The Santoku knife has a flat edge and a sheep's foot design at the tip. Notice the more straight up and down chopping motion. This particular Santoku has an oystered or fluted edge. These small dimples create a pocket of air to prevent the food from sticking up against your blade. As long as you're careful, you can chop a little more quickly, saving some time. The wide edge of the Santoku allows you to scoop everything as well. To cut bread, of course, you'll be using a bread knife. This knife is serrated, meaning it has these little teeth on the edge. With a sawing motion, you can get through almost any bread like this tough sourdough here. You might have need for something small and delicate, like cutting these strawberries. For that, you'll use the paring knife. For this application, I take just the tip of the blade, insert it into the top of the strawberry, and notice that I rotate the strawberry and not the blade to take away just the unedible part. With the right tool, this tedious work can go pretty quickly. There's a lot more we could go over with knives. They get more expensive, and there's lots of other kinds of knives. Today I just wanted to cover some basics and help you unlock some culinary potential at home. Like and subscribe and follow for more content with cooking tutorials, recipes, and more. Until next time.